J.C. Horn is my number one corner in this draft. Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. Hey everybody, King Ding back here. I'm in my garage with a cigar. It's only a candy cigar because my wife won't let me smoke one. After I put that big fat head up in our bedroom, then... let's get rid of that. Uh, at this point, uh, I'd be happy for Dak to be playing for somebody else. And my team stinks. I agree. Stinks. They laugh about us. We're a disgrace. We suck. Dallas still stinks. You're by the way, King Ding Bai here. So here's the issue that I see, right? The question for the Eagles, the question for this draft is how do the Eagles get back in the first round to get J.C. Horn? That is the question. That is what needs to be figured out. That is what needs to be done. Howie Roseman's got to figure a way, calculate the calculations of the cornbread to get it done, okay? The Eagles need to take an offensive player at six, uh, Kyle Pitts or Jamar Chase. Then they need to figure out how to trade back up and get J.C. Horn. Now, I don't think Horn's going to go between 10 and 14. I think he's going to go somewhere between 15 and 25. So the Eagles need to figure a way to get up and get him. Uh, how, I don't know. What you're going to have to do, I guess, is target a specific draft, you know, a specific area in the draft, maybe like 20, 23, 25, and figure when he gets to this point, we have to trade up and get him. The Eagles have the ammo to do it. Now, I know this is crazy. I know people are saying, you're a dingbat. Why would you want to do this and give up all these assets? Because this is a foundational piece that you have to take advantage of. This is the best corner in the draft. And his pro day solidified it. It solidified it for me. Okay. Uh, I like Patrick Sertan. He ran a 4-4 at his pro day. He had 18 reps. Good, good player. But this kid, this kid I think is better. I think this kid could be a better pro. I'm just telling you. I think he's a better corner. I think we have to target him. If you can get a Kyle Pitts, a Jamar Chase in the first round at six. And then somehow trade back up and snag a J.C. Horn. You now have two foundational pieces. Okay? Two foundational pieces to build your team around for years to come. Okay? J.C. Horn is an immediate starter for the Eagles opposite of Slay. He is a stud. And he went out on his pro day and he killed it. He killed it. All right? So here's what Horn... Horn did his pro day. There were five teams there. One of them was the Eagles. I know the Eagles are interested in them. Uh, the question is, will they be more willing to trade back or are they more willing to trade up? For me, I trade up because, yes, I'm getting rid of draft picks, but I'm also getting two pieces on offense and defense. Um, so here is what Horn did at, at his pro day. Uh, he's six foot, three quarter inches, 205 pounds. Uh, he runs a 40-yard dash in 4.39 seconds. 4.39. That is ridiculous for a corner. That is unbelievable. 41 and a half inch vertical. 11 foot 1 inch jump, broad jump. Uh, this dude was off the charts. He also bench pressed 19 times, which is one better than um, Patrick Sertan. This kid, when I watch him, okay, I think he is the better all-around corner. That is just my opinion. Now, Sertan is good. I think he's going to be good. But I think this kid is the pick. The Eagles, they got to find a way to get him, okay? I know the Cowboys and the Cowboy fans, they want this kid. And, and I don't blame them. How could you not want this kid? He's an absolute stud. He's an absolute monster. Uh, he is my favorite corner in the draft, okay? Um, I, think, I think that if the Eagles... If they're really aggressive, they could get it done. Nobody can convince me that they can't make this happen. I saw the Eagles a few years ago trade up three different times in the first round and then trade all the way up to two. So they went, well, it was like 14 to 9 to 2, something like that. 
They've done it before. They can do it again. If you take your first round pick this year and you take uh, your, or not your first round pick this year, but your second round pick this year, a third round pick uh, this year, and throw in a first if you have to next year, you'll get it done. It will get done. Remember, you have two first round picks next year. You have two first round picks because of the Colts, most likely, as long as Carson don't get hurt, or you have two twos next year. So you have the ammo to do it. And with the extra first round pick potentially next year, this is the time to do it. This is a time. This is what you wait for. This is what you look for. An immediate starter who is going to impact you for years to come. This is what he would do. This is what he's going to do. If the Eagles can find a way at six to take, like I said, Pitts or Chase, and then trade back up and snag Horn, there are two immediate starters who are rookies. Uh, this is the time to strike. This is the time to be aggressive. It's not. Oh, it doesn't always work out this way. Sometimes you want to trade back. Sometimes you don't want to trade at all. But the Eagles, in the position they are with the cap, the position that the Eagles are in, this is the time to do it. You gotta trade up. You gotta. I'm telling you, we can. We can do this. We can. We can find a trade partner and move up and get Horn and get Jamar Chase or Kyle Pitts. Imagine two foundational pieces come out of this draft that start right away. I got to do it. I got to take it. I think it's so important for the Eagles, and I hope they do it. I hope they listen to me. Um, that's my thoughts on it. J.C. Horn totally killed it at his pro day. Uh, how can you not like that? With that said, take care. Talk to you later, and don't be a dingbat.